Hi, Keen. All right, so um, I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to you to continue our dialogue. Um, I've never actually done a video dialogue via YouTube. Uh, it's something I, I don't really have that much time for. Uh, I do most of my like uh, dialogues between like members of the trans community via um, email or uh, YouTube messaging and stuff like that because video dialogues um, I don't know. I've just I've never really thought about it that way. But I think that your your special occasion because your um, graduate film that you're putting together seems like it's gonna be really cool. And I'm really honored that you wanted to uh, have a dialogue with me. So I apologize that it's taken me a really long time to get back to you. Um, I managed to squeeze you in to my finals week, <laughs> and uh, I've had a lot of time to think about your questions too, which is really great. So, um, I'm looking forward to this. I've only posted one other video response in my life, so this should be interesting. And yeah, all right. So, you first asked, what does it mean to be involved in the trans YouTube community, is um, what you're wondering. And for me, I never actually thought I was going to be a part of the like trans YouTube community. I originally started putting videos out to document my uh, vo vocal changes, <laughs> was what it essentially was. It was kind of like... Um, it's kind of just like a blog for me, like a journal of my uh, of my transition, and all the um, videos went fit on my hard drive, so I just kind of uploaded them to YouTube, and uh, which is handy because I found out I can download them back off YouTube, which is great because I lost all my earlier videos, but they're still on here. So I never I never like went out searching like for other trans guys on YouTube, but all of a sudden like um, related videos would pop up, and like it would be this guy who had just gotten top surgery and I would go look and I'd be like wow that's incredible I started commenting on um, people's videos being like that looks great like your surgeon did a great job I started getting excited about my own future like um, I didn't start in the community until I had uh, started transitioning I had a previous account um, that I did some like music on but I don't really use it anymore and I, I actually don't remember the name of it but um, yeah so I, yeah just like all of a sudden, just trans people started watching my videos, and even non-trans folk, and um, and it was really interesting. They would comment on it and be like, hey, good luck, you're looking great, and I was like, there's a trans YouTube community. Wow, that's awesome. So um, I began sort of, instead of just talking for myself, which uh, my original videos were more of me just talking for, yeah, talking for myself, I began starting to talk to the community and to people who didn't know what being transgender was, kind of getting more um, descriptive in my transition, just so that people who were watching my videos, like all of, I mean, just like out of nowhere, I got like a thousand subscribers, and I was like, whoa, and I felt all this pressure, and I, then I was like, no, it's you know, it's a community of people who just want to connect with people, and um, community is one of the most powerful things. So it's really great that YouTube exists, that people can see faces, because you can have online forums and discussions. Um, however, you know, you don't actually see the person's face, you don't see them, like, living and breathing. It's just typed up words, which which are great. You know, they're great, but, like, being able to actually see someone is really, is really, you know, it, it helps. Like, it, it helps a lot of kids who, like, kids and adults <laughs> who are out there and they don't know anybody. They, they're, like, they don't know anybody who's trans. They don't, they don't know anybody who's been through the process or anybody that's really all that accepting in some cases. And um, being able to see them via YouTube and know they're out there really helps connect and, like, knows as there's this, like, personal sort of bubble that they're, that you're in. And, and it's kind of great, like, that other people can just weave their way in through the Internet um, because the trans community is small. But it's big at the same time. It's, like, spread out across all these countries. But there's never, like, one place where, like, all these trans people just gather, you know? Well, I mean, there is, there is, but, you know, there's no, like, town out there that's just, like, all trans people or, like, a country that's just, like, it's like 95% trans people that you can just be around all the time or anything like that. Or maybe there is. I don't know. But, um, so it's kind of cool that you can see people via YouTube and actually get, I mean, you can, you can engage in this level of closeness where you're able to have a dialogue like we are now, and that's just really um, beneficial to a lot of people who are struggling, as well as people who are post-transition, who just want to help other people out and give advice and just, you know, kind of make things a little bit easier for everyone. So that's really great, and um, YouTube's a great educational tool as well, because not only um, do 
I find value in being able to connect with other trans folk, including including um, like trans women and trans men as well. Um, I find that I love I love learning about um, trans women because um, that's something I haven't experienced. So that's something I gained from the community. I'm not involved. In, I wouldn't say I'm involved in the um, trans women community as much as I am as a trans male community, obviously, because I'm a trans man. But um, I love like I follow all these trans women and it's just like such a such a different thing you know because they felt the opposite how I felt and so it's really interesting to learn from so I find that a lot of people um, who aren't even in the trans community just come and, and I feel like they learn a lot from my videos which is great because who knows maybe they'll their child may end up being transgender in the future or their um, future like spouse might be transgender or, like they've never met a transgender person but when they do they've kind of got this basis of like accepting and and uh, realization of what what it really is going on and so I think that that's really great um, it's really great for non-trans people to be able to enter the tr YouTube trans community um, just by watching videos you know not even commenting or anything but just by kind of um, being educated so YouTube's a great educational tool and um, I think that that's that's probably the, the best part of YouTube is the educational aspect you know um, I've learned a lot just like the other day I YouTubed how to make one of those origami ball things you know the like blow the air in and they poof up and uh, I got a video for it and I learned a lot so it, it's really cool so um, then you asked me why it's important to me to be a part of the YouTube community I think I might have already touched on this a little bit but um, it's it's important to me because I didn't know any trans people when I was coming out and um, I didn't even know trans people when I started hormones really I knew like a few people but we weren't really close and a few of my friends later came out as being trans after I did so um, being part of the online community has been really great for me because um, you know I'm, in, I'm, as, I'm as insecure as anyone else out there and knowing that you know I um, have people who watch like my videos and think that they're really interesting and then I go and watch theirs and think they're really interesting and having these people who like genuinely care about um, about my transition is you know it's really great because I I'm sure I've at the beginning I talked the ears off of all my friends and and family <laughs> you know I just I, I kind of talked about it probably too much but being able to talk about it on here and um, having people request me talking about certain things is really valuable for me it gets me thinking it gets me um it makes me happy to know that there's other trans guys out there i know a lot more trans guys in person now than i did before <laughs> i started um my transition which is interesting <laughs> i guess we all just flock together i also live in um boston in the boston area right now so there are a lot of trans guys around and um I've met quite a few. I've had the pleasure of meeting quite a few really awesome guys and a lot of awesome women as well. So that's great. But um, via via YouTube, before before um, you know, I knew all these people. It was really wonderful because I just you know I just didn't really have a community like that. I had like a gay straight community, but uh, I was the only trans person. I just felt kind of ostracized, and then. But there's just this like web of people and uh, it's not just you know it's not just like um, videos about people's transitions but people who are out there giving away free binders and stuff you know and like and giving away like their old things that they don't need and um, to help other guys out and um, I find that just to be really comforting it's it's really comforting um, at the same time it's kind of scary because people have found my YouTube videos people that didn't know I was trans and that I knew in real life and they've brought it up and it's been really awkward however <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making YouTube videos um I do worry that that uh, in the future you know when I'm trying to get a job people could find uh, find my videos and that could cause some discrimination things but you know I'm actually I'm willing to risk it because I I don't want to go totally stealth like via internet via like real world life you know via my life like I don't want to go totally stealth because um I think that that would that would kind of hurt like that would hurt, that would hurt the community in the sense that if everyone who transitioned went totally stealth, no one would have anyone to like look up to or talk to. You know, um, I can completely understand why a lot of guys do go stealth, but I think it's important, you know, that I um, that I don't delete my YouTube, that I don't delete like old videos of me and hide it from people because um, 
a lot of people are learning a lot from me, and that's all I could ever ask, you know. It's, it's really important that, I, uh, that I'm helping people. If I wasn't helping people, if, like, my videos were just, like, and no one watched them, then maybe I'd be like, okay, let me just get rid of this, this stuff, you know, I don't need this. But um, I find that, like, being able to connect with people and just being able to be a part of this community is really great. And I also find that I keep repeating myself over and over again, I apologize. Um, but also, one thing that I'm, I'm really enjoying lately is watching um, younger guys that, like, they're just starting their transitions. Like, even if they're, like, been on T for, like, eight months or something, you know, I've been on T for, like, 22 months or something like that. And uh, just watching guys, like, start out and, like, guys who just got top surgery, I love, I love seeing those videos. Because, first of all, I remember how happy I was when I first started hormones and when I got top surgery. And uh, just seeing them, like, just so excited and, like, I don't know, it, it, it makes me really happy. Like, it, it's just, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people are just, like, I don't know, they're, like, little, like, little brothers or something out there. And it's nice to be able to see them. So, uh, that makes me happy. And how, or you asked me how I feel that a lot of queer and trans community dialogue is via YouTube. Um, it is a bummer that... Uh, it can't happen in person. I love talking to people in person. Um, I'm very animated in person. Well, I try to be sometimes, but um, I try to be animated in videos too, but it's also, it's really nice to be able to have like that dialogue in person with people. And my therapist had like a little get together of all her like trans clients at one point, like those who wanted to do it. It was like four trans guys and one trans girl. And like, I was still friends with pretty much. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually still friends with every single person that was there. And, uh, it was really great to like be around people in person, um, and none of them actually have YouTube, I don't think. Oh, no, one of them does, but, uh, or no, two of them do. Yeah, two of them do. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's cool, but it was just, like, great being in person, so it's interesting that a lot of dialogue has to happen via, like, YouTube and those sorts of connections, but, um, at the same time, like, although it would be better in person, um, I think that this is a still a really effective way. I think it's great to reach, like, mass amounts of people especially I get a lot of I get a lot of um emails and a lot of uh questions from people in other countries who um I mean I speak mainly for America because it's where I live and I know how the system kind of works here even though it varies from state to state but they you know they just don't have resources and they don't they don't know anybody that's trans like it's really really taboo in the places they are and they find um that just being able to talk to people like via the internet, which is probably the safest and only way that they can do that, is just like so empowering for them and like they, you know, it really helps them and you know, they might have to wait until they're out of like a specific place to be able to start transitioning and things like that. So that kind of dialogue I think is really important to have. Like it's definitely, like that's a good example of something where it's definitely better to have it via internet, which is somewhat impersonal, than not at all. Um, so I think that uh, YouTube can definitely be a great tool for dialogue. It, um, like I said, I think it would be better in person. I think I would rather do it in person, like have a big old meetup or something like that. But at the same time, you know, um, YouTube makes it really, really kind of simple and easy. And uh, it's not like, you know, people have time for it and people can make the time for it to be able to do such things. So um, I think that Overall, like, the trans YouTube community, has, I've really learned a lot from. Um, not only do I feel like I've educated a lot of people, but I also feel like I have learned infinite amounts, and I'm really proud to say that I'm a part of this community. Um, however, like, you know, fast it is out in the expanse of the internet. And um, I think it's a beautiful thing. I really do. I really think that if I hadn't started up this YouTube channel and I hadn't started documenting my transition and meeting all these people that I would not nearly be as um, well educated and as active of a member in the trans community as I, as I am now. And I'm so glad to be, like, so glad to be. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say is kind of like a lot of the same thing over and over again. But uh, yeah, I really look forward to having more dialogues with you in the future. And um, I'm really looking forward to your film when it's done. So, all right, well, back to work for me. And uh, have a good one, and take care. And, yeah, all right, peace.